because now we're going to try to do our mountains. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to go along the side, make the shape of our mountain. So we're going to add this on just to start it off. Now the way that you make mountains are very simple. It's basically little hills with jagged peaks. So that's why we use our dad brush. And just go up and kind of jet down just like so. Now this is going to be our background mountains. Because we're going to have foreground mountains. Which are going to be a little lighter. So don't worry. It all come together. Now, just in case, if you run out of brown, let's make some more. A lot of red, a little bit of black, a little bit of yellow, tap, 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 not stir, because you want to make sure you isolate that area, because the paint dries fast. Once you tap that in, tap, tap, tap. Make sure to assess the color. It might not be the same, but as long as it's close, you get to go. So, once you get that color, remember to type it in good. Check your brush, make sure you don't have any exposed color, just like so, and go back in. Now remember, make it nice and full in the center. Nice and full. If you need more paint, wrap some more. And shape your mountains accordingly. If you need to grab more paint, don't be afraid. Just paint it in. And even if you don't want the mountains, you can just make it like sand. So on and so forth. Now, we're going to make our foreground mountains, which are going to be lighter because the background is going to be darker since it's further foreground is going to be closer. You have to make it lighter. So if you have any of that brown left, go back in. But this time, grab some white and tap that into that brown. Because we'll no longer need it for our past mountains. <laughs> and you just tap that in. Don't stir. Isolate the paint in the same area. Make sure it's all over your brush. And then we're going to make our foreground mountains. So of course the brown is still wet. So use more white. Because it's going to pick up that brown. You don't want it to blend. You want it to stand out. Now, make sure that you cover up those little dry patches because you don't want that to be exposed. You want it to be nice and smooth. Or as smooth as you can get it. Remember, it's your painting, your creation, your vision. You can make it whatever you want. And bring that down. Now we're going to bring this color all the way down to the bottom. Make sure that if you do have it propped up on a little ledge, make sure that you can see the whole entire bottom. 
That way you can paint it all in. mistake you can make during this pain is to not have fun and trust the process have faith it's going to turn out the way that you want it to look Thing we're going to do clean our brush clean it really good make sure to clean it maybe twice because the brown is very dark and you want to make sure that it doesn't transfer into our work that we did previously all right now if you have time Kind of let it dry. You can just let it dry and let it do its own thing. So now that we've finished the background, get ready for part two where we do our dove. That was awesome. Now that concludes today's lesson. I hope you guys had fun because I sure did. Now, I want you guys to perform today's lesson and post it on your social media. Be sure to tag us so we can like, comment, and share it on our Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube page. The hashtag is hashtag mocha fine arts or hashtag mocha kids rock at the end of this video i will list all of our social media platforms so you can find us or message us directly thank you so much for learning with us don't forget to tell a friend until next time stay safe peace